Hey guys, Mitch here. Today the Evaders just released the iOS 7 untethered jailbreak for all current devices running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4. So to do this, if you did update to iOS 7.0.4 over the air, you do want to restore your device in iTunes and do a full restore up to the latest version so that the evasion jailbreak tool will work. So first off, you just want to go ahead and plug in your lightning cable or your 30 pin dock connector depending on which device you do have. This will work with the iPhone 4 all the way running up through the iPhone 5S so all the devices will be compatible if you are running iOS 7. So first off, you want to go ahead and go to the Evasion download page. I will link you guys in the description below and go ahead and download the Evasion 7 jailbreak tool. Then once your device has been recognized within Evasion 7 it will pop up and then you can just go ahead and click on the jailbreak tool. Now this process is similar to the Evasion like we had in prior years. Very simple jailbreak process. You do want to make sure that you do not have a passcode lock on your device because it will be um, rebooting your device and that passcode lock will block your um, uploading jailbreak data to actually go and jailbreak iOS 7 entirely. So just click on the jailbreak, let it do its thing. It will be rebooting a few times and it will be asking you to click on the evasion icon when it does pop up on your screen. So right now we'll be uploading the jailbreak data. Um, this process will work for Mac and PC. It only takes about five minutes of your time and it will work for any iPhone, iPad, or iPod running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4. You can check that by going into the settings, general, about, and then your version number will pop up. So this is the first reboot process here. It will be injecting the Evasion app onto your device that will be on most likely the second page or whatever page you do have free and it will allow you to configure the actual jailbreak by tapping on the icon. So once that does pop up on your device here, we'll just give it a few more seconds. It will be rebooting your device once more. And then once your device is like that, it will pop up on the Evasion Jailbreak tool and say, please unlock your device and tap the Evasion 7 icon. So you just want to go ahead and unlock your device and then scroll over to your current page and you should see the Evasion 7 icon there. Just go ahead and tap that once. Let me see if I can get it here. There you go. And then the installation will continue back on your computer with the Evasion 7 Jailbreak tool. So we'll be rebooting the device once more and then you should be good to go. Now the Evasion team does recommend that you back up your device entirely right before you do do the jailbreak process in case if something does happen you will always, always have your data backed up on either iCloud or your computer and bear in mind if you did update to iOS 7.0.4 over the air, the O2 OTW, update you want to go ahead and do a full restore within iTunes since sometimes you will get the boot logo and that will reappear and appear and you do not want that. So you will be done on the computer once you see the done and then the rest of the process will take place on the actual device. This is my iPhone 5S running iOS 7.0.4. You will see the Evasion logo. You should see Cydia loading up here, setting up the packages, continuing with a reboot and then the Apple logo should appear. So like I said before, this is a fully untethered jailbreak running for all iPhones, iPod Touches, and iPads running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4. If you did update to iOS 7.0.4 over the air, you do want to do a full restore within iTunes. And you should see Cydia here on your device. And if you click on it, it will be preparing the file system, which would take roughly 5 to 10 minutes. And then after the file system has been prepared, you can go ahead and open up Cydia again, say who you are, user, hacker, or developer, and you should have a fully functional Cydia running on your jailbroken iOS 7 device. So guys, let me know if you have any questions below in the comments section below, or hit me up on Twitter. I'll be trying to cover as many questions as I can. And we should see that new improvements to tweaks and apps coming for full iOS 7 support sometime in the near future. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.